Hey, I'm Birdman. Hey, I'm Michael. Time to get on target at the Hub Phoenix. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we looking at today in the Battle oh. of the 1911s? Well, today we are looking at Staccato. Um, Staccato, formerly known as STI. Um, has oh, okay. Now, let's see. <laughs> A lot of people don't. You know, it's kind of like Textron when they came out, like Articat changed its name to Textron. People were like, well, what's that? Well, if you follow them, it's very easy to follow and to know. You know, okay, STI became Staccato. The reason they changed their name was they changed focus. Um, STI's focus was competition shooting. Staccato's focus is duty and carry. Ah. So they really went after a different market and completely redesigned the guns to be more duty and conceal carry and self-defense oriented, so more reliable. Um, they got rid of a ton of models, you know, the Edge, the DVC, a bunch of them went away. They were gorgeous, awesome guns. Um, Staccato now makes Staccatos. Um, you've got the XL, the C, the C2, the C2 Duo, um, God, let me hear it. Let me pull out my little cheat sheet here. Um, so you've got the uh, C, C2, P, XC, XL, um, and then you actually have a single stack model um, also. Um, and then anything with a Duo means um, optic. Um, so we could get a C with a Duo, we could get a C2 Duo, a P Duo, XC Duo, whatever. So basically just adding optic to it. Um, they were doing colors, so they were doing stainless steel finishes, um, and um, they got rid of that because they couldn't keep up with production. So now you get black. That is it. It's the uh, Henry Ford, any color you want, as long as this it's is black. black. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, color of choice today is black. Um, it works. Um, the guns are gorgeous. They run. Um, Price points got better. Um, the model you are looking at here is actually the most expensive model they sell now. Um, so before you would easily get over the $4,000 area. Um, now this is the most expensive gun they sell. This is right at $4,000. Um, if we go to a C or a C2 Duo, you can get into the fifteen dollars to $2,000 area wow. very easily. Wow. So. Um, Told you you'd find one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the cool thing too is, yes, they still can be upgraded to be made into competition guns. So if you, you know, if you were dead set on getting a staccato and you know, kind of making an STI, you could still do that. Um, but I really like what they did. Um, a lot of people are like, why would they do that? Um, you know, they owned the race gun game. Sure. Um, let's look at numbers. So, like, I would think, you know, you probably have 200,000, 300,000, you know, competition shooters in the United States, maybe the world, probably. Um, millions upon millions of self-defense yeah. owners. Yeah. Um, police departments have been switching over to these guys left and right. Um, so you're talking millions of guns versus thousands of guns. So they really said, you know what? Should we go for the high-end clientele where we only make, you know, 4,000 of these a year, or should we really go after the clientele where we can pump these out and really get them out there and really start selling numbers? Um, I kind of agree with what they did. Yeah. So um, from a business standpoint, it's pretty easy to see why. So question for you, if you yeah. have an STI, has that valuation of that gun gone up? I think it was gone, it's for sure has gone up. Yeah. Um, so, um, for sure, and um, especially certain guns. So, like, um, STI partnered with um, uh, Terran Tactical to do the Combat yeah, Master. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm s one of the guns that I'm like, I don't know why I didn't keep one for the store, <laughs> um, but I didn't, and um, super hard to find now, only have gone up in value. Um, so... Um, Yes, I do think the STIs have gone up in value because they are not being made anymore. No longer can you get an edge. No longer can you get a DVC. No longer can you get those. So if you have one, 
you've got a gun that no longer is being made. I mean, it's literally extinct. You know, it's going extinct. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's limited, no, edition, it's, limited edition, and now it's retired. Right, exactly. So, yeah, it's no go. longer going to be made anymore. Sure, maybe they can bring it back in the future, but I don't think they will. So yeah, it's no. you literally have something that let's just say everyone shot them all up and you know ruined them. There'd be none left. You know, so pretty cool. Um, yes, I do think that the STI brand has gone up. Um, Staccatos, though, at first people were like, what? No, don't like it. Don't like how all of them look the same. All of them have the same grip. All of them have the same star. Well, I think it's really grown on people, and now they kind of look at it as more of like a Glock or like, you know, Glocks are all the same other than one's tan, um, the 19X. So, you know, for me, it's very similar. There are some companies that do some stippling work to these, and oh my God, do they make them amazing. You know, when you get rid of that factory um, stipple and you, and you just keep that star, and then you do hand stippling, it makes that gun pop. Um, the other thing people are doing is coating them, um, you know, and doing different things to customize them. Because only black? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, so, but make sure you check out Staccato. Um, out of Texas, um, super cool people, really, really, really um, have have gone a long way, in my opinion, in the last few years. I mean, to go from a, you know, kind of like a mass-produced pistol that's custom to straight up, we're, we're going after the self-defense, um, you know, police, military market, I think that's pretty cool. So um, make sure you check them out, and they're shooters. I mean, they're shooters. I've shot every brand we've talked to about today. These guns shoot amazing. So it's not like, oh, you know what? I got a C and it's 1500 bucks and it's gonna suck. It's, it's a shooter, so. Um, so yeah, so um, make sure you check out Staccato and um, that's all I got for this cool. week. Okay, so. I'm Michael. I'm Birdman. We'll see you next time.